with or without a Schengen visa? This rhetorical question is much more important for Russians today than how do you feel when you are associated with a terrorist state? <laughs> and while Ukraine is slowly trying to make a decision, here are the reasons why sealing Russia is good, first for all the Russians themselves. First of all, you need to know that they're against possible one more Iron Curtain, not because it may restrict their freedom. They don't care about freedom. They are offended that somebody may not allow them to enter. This is their typical thuggish behavior that helps them to survive at home. The only language they understand is force and thuggish pressure. At home, they frequently pressure one another, and the one who wins is considered not a gangster, but legitimate and cool. And the loser admires him. So all the West needs to get some Russian love is to close the borders for them. Russians are obviously suffering abroad. Listen what they say about retarded West and progressive Russia. Look how they miss their low-quality products in Russian stores. Look how they suffer without regular parades with violent mottos. They are unhappy in the West. Even tourists complain that all-inclusive was not all. And still, nobody wants to speak Russian abroad. They have a national game of humiliating people abroad or stealing towels in hotels or using any other way to prove that they are better. That's the way they live. Russians have been living in the criminalized community that it's difficult for them to distinguish where they can rape and rob and drink vodka outside and where they can't. Here are their messages in the Telegram channel for immigrants in Europe. They want to kill and destroy, as they were taught in school, but not in Russia itself. So it's not the question of visa permissions for Russians in Europe. It is a question for Europeans. Are you ready to walk the same streets with murderers, rapers and thugs, maybe even those who returned from Ukraine, sold stolen toilet and put all money into vacation to Spain? Russians are not good or bad, as a gas pump cannot be good or bad. They are just who they are and cannot change, as a gas pump cannot change by itself. They beat and kill women to show love, beat and rape children to show care, they wage wars and lies to show peace. They hate the rest of the world and live with only one purpose – to make everyone afraid of them. What next? They do not know, as a short-sighted aggressive gas pump doesn't know either. But only the lowest segments of population live like that. Those who stand higher in the Russian hierarchy know things a little. Not only Lavrov's or Putin's children live abroad. Almost every more or less high-ranked personnel send his offspring far away to that cursed West, while Russia is still trying to rise from its knees.